Asia is rising, but can Asian internet startups earn a seat at the table with the big boys of Silicon Valley? More engineers are graduating from Asian universities than anywhere else on the planet. But do they possess the creativity and vision required to conceive the next super idea? Can Asian startups ever ease out of Silicon Valley's slipstream? This is the complex challenge I hope to uncover as I film Asia's first startup documentary. Hi, I'm Albert, a Spanish filmmaker. I've worked on such films as Trans-Siberian and Vicky Cristina Barcelona. I'm a graduate of NYU's Tisch School and I've lived and filmed all over the world. Besides being a film buff, I'm a total techie. I'm fascinated with innovation, curious of how cool products are created. The vision, raw intelligence, and teamwork required to succeed or fail. Apps have caught the world's imagination by storm, fueled by tales of fortune by the likes of Instagram, the popular photo app that sold to Facebook for over $1 billion. That's $1,000 million, folks. I wanted to reveal how innovation is created by technologists in the Pacific. First, I need to be a fly on the wall of Asia's smartest startups. This proved to be a challenge. I chased numerous leads, flew everywhere. Beijing, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Singapore, and then all over again. After four months, I was beginning to run low on money. By February, I'd just about given up. Fortunately, I was in Hong Kong in March when a friend in the tech industry spotted an iOS app called FindUp. It had just won Hong Kong's best app award. But I wasn't interested. Apps for medical listings were nothing new. Fine dog looked just like another copycat. Thankfully, my friend persuaded me to check them out, if anything, just to get a lead. Once I stepped into their office, I sensed something special. The energy was addictive. There was something, but I couldn't put my finger on it. One question immediately popped into mind. All these guys for one medical app? Daniel, tasty, founder and visionary. Propeller was his idea. Conceived while earning his advanced degree at Stanford. Unable to secure funding while managing mounting school debts, this brilliant but humble American was forced to abandon his idea. At least, until now. Tasty co-founded Startup HK. He has since reviewed over 200 tech startups in Hong Kong and China. He is fully cognizant that most are simply copycats of their Western counterparts, not to mention a lot of them are poorly implemented. This 26-year-old trailblazer remains convinced that there will always be room for awesome products. Benny. Founder and CEO is hyper-intelligent. A 20-year veteran in technology and mobile applications, Benny built businesses in Asia and Silicon Valley. He runs the show. Benny passionately wanted to prove a theory that Silicon Valley was not a location, but a mindset. Kevin is also a founder. This accomplished self-made entrepreneur is also a highly respected philanthropist. In addition to having already served on the boards of two United Nations charities, this young humanitarian is a guardian angel to the underprivileged. Kevin is a founder of Feeding Hong Kong, a liberating startup built from scratch. It serves as the city's largest food banking network, supporting over 23 local food banks. Once Tasty shared how Propeller would assist charities, big and small, Kevin became the first person to support Tasty's dream. The trio revealed that FindUp was quickly built as a philanthropic project to serve Hong Kong in honor of Kevin's friend, the generous business leader, the late Mohan Mathani. They were happy that it helped people and is now independently run as a free service by their friend Ivan. Fine Dog allowed the team to gather in Hong Kong and demonstrate their talents by winning Hong Kong's best app, while quietly working under the cloak of Fine Dog to test their masterpiece, Project Propeller. Over a dim sum lunch, Tasty shared his mission by posing a universal problem. How to find cool and interesting things to do anytime, anywhere, with your friends while meeting new ones who share similar interests. Then the penny dropped. Propeller was going to be the world's social calendar. Their goal was to get people offline. Not to blog, pin, or read about what's going on, but to find, host, and attend interesting gatherings with other people. To live life and reconnect again. I now realize the space was totally fragmented. Their data highlighted something even more interesting. Thanks to technology, the space was actually getting more and more fragmented with each additional web page and blog. 
Tasty first faced this problem as a student at Stanford, but in fact, it was everywhere. Mark Zuckerberg's vision was a huge inspiration for them. Facebook already featured an events listing function, but searching for events based on category or location is not possible. Also, most of the hundreds of millions of events that are on it have already expired. Tasty's original vision was an interactive online activities board, hosting lots of college activities that Facebook friends could share. Over the past four decades, Silicon Valley has been the birthplace of the world's most innovative companies. Apple, Google, eBay, Oracle, HP, the list is endless. In 2011 alone, venture capitalists invested over 12 billion US dollars into 1,202 Silicon Valley startups. This sum represents a staggering 41% of all of US venture investment for the year. Originally, the founders wanted to build Propella in Silicon Valley. Tasty's idea was born there, and Benny called the Bay Area home for years. After flying over to evaluate the current ecosystem, Silicon Valley's exuberant prices and high employee turnover made them reconsider. They still wanted to be in Silicon Valley, but maybe just not yet. Hong Kong is Asia's leading financial hub, home of the world's largest IPO market for the third consecutive year. The island is also home to some of Asia's leading universities. But despite the raw talent and wealth, there is still no history of any global significant internet startups. The founders invited the best and brightest to join their team, not as employees, but as partners. They arrived from Silicon Valley, New York, Toronto, and Beijing. They are graduates from the world's leading universities, Stanford, Berkeley, INSEAD, Rhode Island School of Design, John Hopkins. Propella brought Silicon Valley to Hong Kong. Lena joined from New York City. The Brooklyn native was employee number one at Trillion.im, a messaging app that enjoyed over 40 million downloads. Lena traveled 8,000 miles to pursue Propella's challenge. KC joined from Silicon Valley. He recently married in Taiwan while putting in 18-hour workdays to stay in what he called the zone. His previous Silicon Valley startup, IMVU, now has over 50 million registered users. Alex, one of Hong Kong's most respected engineers, built the city's most traffic news app with over 1 million daily users. Wang joined following a distinguished career spanning over 20 years in applied technology to the financial market. He is a master in systematic strategies. The partners needed to recruit a top-notch local team. Not interested in a long resume, they only cared about the few things that people did exceptionally well. The last time Propella recruited, over 300 candidates across Asia applied for two jobs. Propella's team has been working together for the past nine months. Remarkably, despite the high turnover nature of tech startups, their team has not lost anyone. While collecting constant feedback from friends, family, and from U.S. focus groups, they also met with leaders, whose companies hosted many events across Asia. Here are a handful of them. The team listened carefully as each provided input and feedback. Once the key criteria were locked down, the design and innovation process began. I started filming the documentary at the end of March just as Propella's team decided to scrap their original fully coded website. From their users' testing, they believed Facebook's open graph was the future. Tasty was adamant to employ Zuckerberg's hacker's way in Asia. The process was grueling and relentless, but totally necessary. To work in a startup, you have to be self-motivated with fire in your belly. Hard work is a prerequisite. Sacrifices must be made. Long hours are the norm. It's not uncommon to find a team pulling all-nighters. Silicon Valley would not exist without angel investors. Champions of the entrepreneurial spirit, they play crucial roles during a startup's critical embryonic stage, when entrepreneurs have little more than an idea, or perhaps at most, a rough prototype. Investors started to take notice of the young Stanford grad, but Tasty wasn't interested in just money by itself. His partners funded his dream and supported his decision. But none of the propositions interested them. Tasty's only goal was to realize the dream he had had since Stanford. He was a pioneer, on a mission, and now he finally had the partners who believed in him. This was his chance, and all the easy cash on the table could not sway him. Tasty is frugal. Propella was 100% self-funded internally by his partners. CEO Benny quit a top job and has yet to take a penny. Partners, each successful, provide a stable environment for the team to develop their product. 
their independence is unique to most startups. Blessed with partners who believed in him, perhaps Tasty's return to Asia was a blessing in disguise. Having the chance to be mentored by experienced angels remains the team's highest priority. At the top of their list are American angels such as Ron Conway, the powerful game changer and philanthropist who mentored the founders of PayPal, Twitter, and even Google. Peter Thale, a fellow Stanford alumni, was Facebook's first investor. He is Tasty's hero. The team loved that Chris Dixon shared their belief in teamwork. Reid Hoffman from LinkedIn inspired them. These are the types of people Propella hoped to learn from. They believed that partnerships were equally important. For the opportunity to meet these people, the team are prepared to jump on the next flight. I hope you've enjoyed the trailer to my up and coming documentary on Tasty and his team at Propella while they build the world's social capital. To continue filming and editing, I need your help. I've completely funded this project for my own savings and Hong Kong is expensive. Propella will be launching in September and the team have some awesome meetings lined up in the US. I hope to have enough money so that I can follow them there and see if Tasty can bring Propella back over the Pacific to Silicon Valley. I'd be grateful if you could pass on my trailer to any family or friends or anybody that you think might be interested in partnering up with me. Thank you very much for your time, assistance, and generosity.